Oh, how nice. We have more chapter to feel miserable about Hecky's action. How splendid. Oh, Hecky, what have you done? I know the last chapter isn't entirely his fault because it was an ambush, and this chapter made sure of it. However, if you're desperate to blame Hecky's action, this would be an appropriate time to do so. The chapter itself is a pretty good builder for what's to come in day 3. At least that's how it was building up. Son Suiju continues to receive hype, and yet he hasn't gone into full fledged action. We only had him perform a badass taunt at your tongue and some pieces of his background, but nothing on his raw power. I still can't help but feel the integrity behind him, and this chapter helps to showcase it. It proves that the status of others means nothing to him. When he shows no mannerism to King Rozo, he simply calls him by his name and replies back that he's the commander. He has no damn to give. Only because of Ribako, he starts calling him King, proves how loyal he is. He does explain how he infiltrated Chin Supply's location, which covers how that passageway even existed. Sadly for Chin, they didn't know that Rago Forest has an emergency escape passage hidden underneath the ground in the middle of the forest. That's how they got the best of them, sneaky little bastards. Now they have made Heki complete pale. It's disheartening to look at Heki's state of shock. It's as if we are looking at the end of Ashita no Joe. The man looks defeated and is only going to make him react negatively. I admire that Yotomwa, albeit the situation of losing half a chin supply is really bad, trying to comfort Heki because there's a war to settle. But the moment Heki reacts hastily and irrationally, I knew we're in for bad news. Hara is definitely testing water with Heki's character. I don't know if the purpose is to have him killed in a depressing way, redeem in a heroic end, or others. I can only hope for a redeeming and well worth the hardship build. As of now, Heki is having a really hard time. He tries to redeem by go against the Chunrong fleet on day 3. But it only adds more harm than anything. He not only loses men in a one-sided onslaught, but he also loses his messengers that were sent for Kanki to request for supply refill. It only adds sauce to the wound when his enemy made a mockery of his action. Damn, his pride is getting shattered all over. Seriously, I hope there's a good payoff. On a positive note, my favorite part of the chapter is when it shifts back to the right wing. Honestly, Ohan is slowly crawling to be among one of my favorite characters of the series. His growth is already impressive enough in the past chapters. But Hara has added more to his greatness and is all welcoming. But before going into that, it's worth talking about the new challenger in the field. Ribako sent out 10,000 reinforcements and a new commander named Gyo On. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but feel free to correct me. I gotta say, his design looks intimidating with that fierce face and that helmet makes him look demonic. I like how Hara always captures the before and after reaction from a person or an army. Gyoko Ho unit was all hype pumped up for the next course of meal, that is Zhao's army. Once they see the reinforcement, all that momentum goes completely dried up. The exploitation of how one present can ruin the hype is captured well, but what stole the show is how to gain it back. As if the push for Ohan wasn't over, we got another moment to add to the collection of greatness. It's becoming apparent that he has grown wonderfully as a commander who could be a general soon. He better be. He roars out a really great motivational speech that he literally changes everyone's frown upside down. It's truly an amazing feat. And this series made it clear. It's all about clouding the right judgment. They all saw a threat from the sight of reinforcement. However, Ohan saw it as a sign of accomplishment. He does make it a relieving point about the sight. 
it could be interpreted as you have weakened the army. So they resort to calling for reinforcement. It's like a video game. Fighting a mob of bad guys and more to join in. It only means you're getting close to the end. That's a reasonable approach and everyone buys in. The war cry sends the sensation of satisfaction. When Akko starts to show appreciation, you know you're doing something right. It could only top it with all sense approval. Then you made it to the top. No doubt this moment is a complete opposite of Heki's. Sorry Heki, but it is. Ohan, get a commander kill and you'll be the greatest. It's not over until Ribuko gets a last word inserted, though it does leave an intriguing note to be aware of. Gyo-on is being hyped to be a worthy adversary in the right wing, probably even worse than Cho-Gayu. It was said that Rin Soja was a great general with a lot of impressive feat, except he lacked martial might. Leave it to Gyo-on to fulfill that missing piece. That certainly raises my interest. Now that he is serving in the right wing, would that mean Ohan will go against him instead? That would be a hell of a battle after the hype they gained recently. I wouldn't mind Ohan taking on him, though afraid if he would be used like a body bag. In other words, a jobber. I also don't want Akko to be one as well, but I trust Hara to send the right message of the credibility of Gyo On. It's a really good hype chapter that may define the most intense day so far. It delivers two angles, one troubling sight with Heki and one reassuring sight with Ohan. The visual is pretty solid with characters' expressions, especially Heki's, and a well-presented war cry. Reboku claims it's the day to shatter their hopes. Oh, we'll see. Share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you expect to see from Gyo On? I still don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's possible that he's going to be the one that will wreck the momentum from Gyoko Ho. And I hope Ohan is prepared for the worst. I have a bad feeling about this, but anything goes. And I can't wait to see the next chapter. Though I'm still waiting on what's going on with Shin. It's probably going to take a long time. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.